It's time for your favorite radio program, 
Chatting from the Word, with your host brother Oscar York The Voice, on your Spreaker platform. Where are we chatting about the Word and from the Word? Putting that all important, snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. God's grace and mercy brought us through. Amen, amen, and amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Good morning, good morning, everyone. The Lord has blessed us all, we the on top soul, and not the soul on top of us, we the on this side of heaven. He has blessed us with a number of benefit of another wonderful, wonderful day. Yes, he has. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> and amen. And all we, all we need to do, my friend, is just thank him for it. That's right. Thank him for waking us up this morning. I know I woke up this morning when I seen that, the, 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 the brightness, <laughs> I didn't see no sunshine. Uh, uh, but when I seen a little sunshine peeking through my window pane, I knew I was blessed to wake up this morning that the Lord has created another day for us. To be able to, you know, make what's wrong in our lives right and to walk closer and closer with Him. And my friend, that's just a blessing within itself. You know, my friend, I think we'd be better off if we count more of our blessings than those things that get us and keep us down. Because if you count your blessing, you may be recognized, you may recognize just how blessed you are. And I think that's the problem with most of us. That might be the reason why many of us stay depressed. Because we're not counting our blessings, but we count our uh, falls and our shortcomings. But what we need to do is begin to start counting our blessings. And we will recognize just, just how blessed we really are. And we will recognize how great and how good and how wonderful our Father really is. He is Jehovah Jireh. He sees and he provides. And my friend, he has provide, provided all of us with another benefit of another wonderful, wonderful day. Yes, we have. Amen, amen, and amen. If you're living in the Dayton, Ohio area, the surrounding areas, it is 40. Uh, two degrees and mostly sunny. Let me correct that. Maybe the sunshine. <laughs> I said the light. The sunshine came through my window pane. And it's sunny today. We're going to have a sunny t day today in Dayton. Maybe a little cool, uh, but sunny. It's 42 degrees. Amen. And amen. And I do love to thank the Lord. I don't know about you, but I love praising the Lord, my friend. I really do. Are you ready? Are you ready to praise the Lord with Brother Oscar this morning? And if you are ready to praise the Lord with Brother Oscar this morning, if you at home, get relaxed. Go on to have your favorite drink, coffee, tea, milk, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be. Get relaxed. Sit in your reclining chair or at your, uh, call at your dinette table. And get your Bibles out, open your Bibles, and have an open mind as we study the Word of God today. Amen. 
and amen. And my friend, if this happens to be your first time listening, we want to welcome you to the program, and we are so, so elated that you have your ears on and that you are listening. But not only do we want to welcome you to the program, but we would love for you to know that you are our honored guest, and we want to honor you today because you having your ears on. Amen, amen, amen. And we hope you keep your ears on through the whole program. Don't go nowhere. Now, I, I must admit, we, we are a pretty lengthy program, but we will, we're going to try to keep your attention through the whole program. We are going to try. But my friend, if you love the Lord, the Lord already have your attention if you love him. So praising him and and, and, and listen to a message and listen to a beautiful song to uplift our spirit, to help us more and more in our praise on this wonderful, wonderful day. Amen, amen. And my friends, if you love my program, share this program with your friends, with your neighbors, with your loved ones, those your buddies on Facebook, click at Instagram and TikTok wherever you are on the internet. Share, share, and share. And if you believe, my friend, that the world needs to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I believe it needs it, because as we look around this world, we see all the mass killings that's going on. They had one just yesterday at, the house, at this hospital. You know, the guy pulled out a gun and started shooting five or six women, and I believe he, he killed one. So, my friend, this, this world needs the message of love, salvation, and hope. And if you believe in the Lord like I believe in him, help us out here on chatting from the word from a financial basis, or on a financial basis, because... We do need your assistance in keeping this fine program going and going. And if you want to turn in your contribution this morning, and we hope that you do, you can go to our PayPal account, paypal.com. And once you pull up paypal.com, just go on and put in my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. Um, again, that's Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle, Z E L L E, and again, put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And we hope you do it today. Do it today. Do it right now as you are listening. Uh, to be programmed this morning. Go ahead on and get in your contributions. And we would just love to thank you in advance for your contribution. We really do. We want to thank you in advance for you supporting our efforts here on chatting uh, from the Word. Because we believe here on chatting from the Word that the Word of Christ needs to be heard around the world. Yes, we do. My friend, we love to remind you that you are listening to Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word and putting the all-important snap, crackle, the top in your Christian walk. 
Yes, we all as now. Crackle and pop. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Snap, <laughs> crackle, and pop. All right, all right. We are moving on. We'll be right back after these uh, messages. Know what time is it? Right? You, you know, you, you know, you know, you know, you know. Excuse me, I love that. <laughs> you know what time it is, correct? Yes, it is our roll call, where we are giving you a shout out, especially you all that are listening to us live, and we just want to. Let you know how much we appreciate you for listening to us live. And of course, we appreciate those also who listen to our pre recording, but especially you all that are getting up early in the morning and listen to us live. We just want to uh, thank you for listening to us live. And we just want to call out some states and cities and countries that we have noticed that are listening and we hope that you keep your ears on and listen to the entire uh, program. Of course, we want to begin with the U.S. of A, and that is Ohio. Let's begin with Ohio, and that is Columbus. Columbus, y'all are listening too. Thank you, Columbus, for having your ears on. Amen. Amen. And then that is the great city of Cincinnati. Good morning, Cincinnati. Thank you for having your children. And also, also, my city, Dayton, Dayton, Ohio. Good morning, Dayton. We just want to thank you, too, for having your ears on. And one of the superb, superb <laughs> city of Dayton, which is Miamisburg. And Miamisburg, we just want to thank you for having your ears on. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. In my home state, the great state of Texas, the Lone Star State of Texas, and that's Houston, Texas. Houston, my home city. I just want to say good morning and thank you for having your indoor. <laughs> and here in the great state of Georgia are listening too. And Georgia, we want to thank you, especially Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia, we just want to say good morning and thank you for having your ears on. And then the great state of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, and that is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, good morning. And thank you for having your ears on. Now the countries that listen to us, our brothers across the water, Singapore. 
we want to thank you, Singapore, and say good morning to you, and thank you for having your ears on. And Spain, 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 good morning, Spain. And that's for Alicia Spain. And we just want to say good morning for Alicia Spain and thank you for having your ears on. And my friend, that was your roll call for this morning. Your roll, roll, roll call. It is time for our snapshot for today. Our snap, snap, snapshot. It is time for our snapshot. That's right. It is time for our snapshot. Where we allow you, where we let you know. <laughs> allow you. Where we let you know what you are in store to hear here on Chatting from the Word in the Morning. We just want to let you know what you're going to listen to because we don't want you to waste a uh, uh, 30 to 40 minutes of your time listening to nothing, we want to at least give you something to listen to. Is that all right if we give you something to listen to? Because Brother Oscar don't want you to listen to dead air. <laughs> we can say it like that. We want to give you at least something to listen to. Well, you heard our introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy. Song by Wayne Williams. Oh, my friend, God's grace and mercy, it is good. It is good. God loves the world that he sent his only son down. And his son loved us enough to die on the cross for you and for me. God's, God's grace and mercy. And I was scripture reading before our prayer time, and if you want to, Read along with us. You're welcome to do that. And that be Psalms, the 20th Division. Psalms, the 20th Division. If you care to read along with us, that would be our scripture reading before our prayer time. And of course, Radiance Alcapella will be singing with our prayer to get us in the mood for our prayer time. Amen. And uh, a amen. And yes, of course, we are showcasing a beautiful, beautiful song for today. Yes, we are showcasing a beautiful, beautiful song for today. Yes, we are. And that song is Praise and harmony, a holy God, only a holy God, and only a holy God will put up the best we put, we do today, but he, he has, and it's all by his grace that he loved us, and he said, and he said, hey, I'm going to send my, he said, I'm going to send my son down and allow him to die for all those people. And he did. When Christ died on the cross, he wasn't only dying for people in his day, but his cross went way back to the beginning, and it continues today. The blood of Jesus Christ saves us today. He is, my friend, a holy, a holy God. Amen. And a, amen. And of course, of course, we are chatting today. Yes, we are. We are chatting today. 
And we hope that you open your Bible today and study with us during our chat and uh, have an open mind and where we can allow the Word of God to enrich us so that we may see what is the will of God, okay? So we hope that you open up your minds and your Bibles today as we chat. And of course, we're chatting from, uh, our chat is coming from the first letter that Brother Paul, the apostle, uh, wrote to the Corinthian church. And uh, we are in the 16th uh, chapter. Uh, in the 16th chapter, Paul is talking about the collection for the saints, the collection for the saints. And if you have been with us, you know we've been, uh, we went to Matthew 5, 19 to 20, where Jesus himself said that our righteousness must exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and we went back to see uh, what the early, uh, what Israel which represent the early Christians, the early God, God's people that were saved under uh, Israel, 12 tribes, those uh, the 12 tribes, and how Israel gave to the priests, the high priest Aaron, to Moses, and to the sons of Aaron. So we've been talking about a heave offering, and I believe we may talk about the wave offering this morning. So, my friend, if you want to hear the chat for this morning, keep your ears on so that you may hear the chat. And, my friend, that was your Snapchat of the program today. Your Snap, 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 Now, my friend. Are you ready to get on board and ride and ride the gospel explosion? And if you're ready to get on board this train and ride, line up, line up, and have your tickets out. And if you lined up with your tickets out, get on board, get on board this train. The Gospel Explosion. <laughs> amen and amen.
Amen and amen. This is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to our email addresses, which is more case, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or chatting from the word at gmail.com. Or you can put it on any page that you're listening to the program through. Or you can put it on my Facebook page when you see the program right under uh, my picture. You can put your uh, prayer request in the comment section. And we should be able to receive your prayer request. And if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that is fine. Here on Chatting from the Word, we do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so delighted and so blessed to do uh, just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here, or chatting from the Word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request to us. And as always, we want you to keep in your prayers, those that have been requesting prayers, those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through some uh, difficult time at this time. The world itself, with all the chaos and all the mess that's going on in this world in which we live in, and, of course, the Russia-Ukraine situation, we pray for a, a cease to that. And also, we want to pray for those that are trying to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ. Amen and a amen. And, of course, pray for your brother Oscar here that I may stay healthy to keep this program going and going because we do want to keep this program going because I believe that the message of Jesus Christ 
need to be wrung out through this world. Amen and amen. My friend, if you have a copy of God's Word and you want to read along with us, we're reading from Psalms, the 20th Division. Uh, that be Psalms, the 20th Division. And in Psalms, the 20th Division, the psalmist penned these words. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary, and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings, and accept thy burnt sacrifice, shall I. Grant thee according to thy own heart, and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know that I, now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, let the King hear us when we call. Amen and amen. Here, David has said, Lord, hear me. Hear me in the day of trouble. And we all go through trouble times today, don't we? And we need the Lord to talk to him and, and talk to Jesus Christ and let them know to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and let them know what is on our minds. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a little talk with our Lord this morning? Let's talk with him. Our Father, our Father who sits high and looks low. Father, we come to you this morning in the humblest way we know how. With our heads bowed, minds, hearts, thoughts lifted up to you. Father, first of all, in thanking. Father, thank you for all your blessings that you bestowed upon us today. You watch over us as we slept and slumber. You woke us up to another benefit of another wonderful, wonderful day. And Father, we, we just want to thank you this morning for that. And Father, especially we want to thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to come down on this cruel world to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to help us to connect with you once again. And Father, he took upon the cross. He became sin so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we solely thank you, thank you for that. Oh, Father, come praying for the world at this time. We recognize, Father, that the world turns a poor distance from you. But, Father, we just want to pray that the world get to know you, Father. Oh, Father, we pray for all the mass killings. We pray for all the victims. We pray for all the, the sins of this world, Father. We pray that someone, some boy, some girl, some woman, some man may recognize the ways of the world and turn against the ways of the world and come to Jesus and be in his body. 
Oh, Father, Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. Father, we pray that you give them comfort. Father, we pray for those who lost loved ones at the hands of the police, Father. We pray that you give them comfort. We pray for each police officer, family who gave their lives the line of duty. Father, we pray that you give them comfort. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders at this time. Father, we just pray that they'll make laws within us from worship you and make laws where we all can live in peace and in harmony. Father, we pray for the church at this time. We pray for the church to continue to be the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we pray for all of our listeners, Father. We pray for all their doubts and fears. Father, we pray that you cast all the doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't be surfaced anymore. Father, 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 we pray for our program, chatting from the Word. Help us to keep chatting about your Word and from your Word. Father, help us keep this program on the air. Father, help us with the lesson today. Help us that we may say something to help others to grow and to nurture and the ammunition we do. Oh, Father, we, we pray, Father, for those that are going through some difficult times. Pray for those who lost loved ones. Pray, Father, for those who try to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, Father, we just pray, we just pray that you keep us, keep us always in your care. Oh, Father, just help us to be encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And amen. I just want to thank you for praying along with us, for reading our scripture text along with us, and we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind. We'll be right back with the second half after this message. Mm. <laughs> All right, we're back. We here. We here. Yes, we are. We are here. We are back. We finally reached another second half of the program, and we are so delighted to uh, spend this morning with you. We really are. We are so delighted to spend the morning with you, and we hope that you. Uh, feel the same, and we hope that you still have your ears on. We hope that you do it. It'd be uh, <laughs> it'd be kind of crazy for me to ask you if you have your ears on. You're not listening, so you all that's listening, we want to thank you uh, for listening. We want to thank you for still having your ears on. Amen and amen. And of course, we want to ask you for. Uh, contributions. If you have not sent in, you turn uh, turned in your contributions. We hope that you would do it today. Do it today. Do it today. And you're wondering where to see your contributions. We do have an account on PayPal. Just go pull up the PayPal webpage. Pay, excuse me, PayPal.com. And once you pull it up, put in my email address, which is World Case Oscar York. 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that's Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle, Z E L L E. And again, put in the email address, which is your case, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And do it today. Do it today. And we just want to thank you in advance for your generous gifts. Amen and amen. We usually reserve this time to let you know where you can hear the program. Of course, uh, you can go to Spreaker Podcast app. If you have one, but you don't have a Spreaker Podcast app, you can visit the Play Store and and download it. Spreaker Podcast app. And once you download it, look us up. Chatting from the Word. Hosted by Oscar. And of course, you can go to Audrey, News of Download, VLC, Lady, Joseph Van, Chrome, Webview, Bullhorner, 
Alexa Media Player, PawnPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, uh, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcast Addicts, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And of course, all the stations, I believe you can put, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. You can subscribe to each and every one of them, especially YouTube. And listen to us through our YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube station and hit the notification bell. And of course, give us a thumbs up. And we just want to thank you for also listening to us our uh, program on our YouTube station. Amen. And uh, amen. just want to remind you that you are listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York the Voice, amen, on the Spreaker platform where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting the all-important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian walk. Yes, we are. We're so glad. So glad to do it. Amen. And amen. Now, my friend, it is that time for us to highlight. (laughs) I like. All right, Bill Oscar. Highlight our song for this morning. And our song for this morning will be. Oh, what will it be? (laughs) What is it, Brother Oscar? It will be Praise and Harmony. Only a Holy God. And our God is definitely holy. And here they are, praise and harmony. Oh, heaven, who else could make it be king of God? Who else could whisper and Who else can rescue me from? 
he does but all the things we have done against our holy god and he still loves us loved us enough that he sent his only begotten son down here on this cruel world to die for our sins you know i believe sometimes we just don't know how bad sin is to god it is so bad sin is so bad to god if i can use that term that he had to send his only begotten son to die the cruel death of the cross. Oh, my friend, we definitely serve a holy God who would love a wretch like us. Even when we do our best, that's just like 50 rags. That's why we need Jesus Christ and his grace. That's why we need to be in the body of Christ. Amen and amen. We'll be right back with the chat after this message. Here is our brother Oscar with the chat. The collection for the saints. Let's give continues. All right, all right. It's time for our chat, and uh, we hope you still have your ears on and ready to listen to the chat or uh, learn something from it so that you may be a good uh, child of God, uh, that you may love him more and know how to love him. And uh, the, the lesson that we're talking about is our collection. What should we give back? to God. But before we begin our chat, let me say this, and I already said it. Go ahead on. If you're at home, go ahead on. Get relaxed. Have your favorite morning drink, coffee, tea, milk, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be, or tea, <laughs> or whatever it may be, and get relaxed and you relax in your recliner, that's fine. If you're at your dinner table, that's fine. But have your Bibles open and have an open mind when it comes to studying God's Word. Because some people, when they study God's Word, they would like to put their traditions in the Word of God. They like to put me in the Word of God. And me don't have nothing to do with the Word of God. Allow God to speak to you this morning. From his word. And I think that's the problem most of us have today. We do not allow God to speak to us from his word. But here on Chatty from the Word, that's what we do. That's what we do. We allow the word of God to talk with us. And here on the word of God, we just don't here on Chatty from the Word, we just don't teach, we just don't pray. But we chat about the word of God. Because we don't want to talk around you, over you, under you, but we want to 
talk with you when it comes to the word of God. We want to try to reason with you when it comes to God's word. And as I've said many times, we can reason with our dog Robo to roll over and sit up to speak. We should be able to reason with one another when it comes to the word of God. Yes, but Oscar recognized some people I would never reason with because they can't humble themselves and admit to themselves that the Bible is right and they wrong, especially when there is something that doesn't that that that's not ordained by God. And when I mean ordained by God, it's not something that's not set up as God commands in His Word. And a lot of us we're lost well, if we're not in God's Word, if we're not in the body of Christ, if we're not in Christ, simply said, simply put, we can't be saved. We can't be saved if we're not in the body of Christ. And more simply put, if you're not in the church of Christ, you can't be saved. Christ only has one way, and that's through Jesus Christ. And we need to give him honor, glory, and praise for dying on the cross. We need to give God the Father the same for allowing his son to come down on, on this earth. And we should allow the Holy Ghost to work within us so that he can understand all the moanings and groanings within us and recognize how much we love him. Amen and amen. My friend, if you have a copy of God's word, go ahead on and open it up. And of course, our lesson is taken from the first letter that Brother Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthian church. And he's talking about the collection uh, for the saints. And we don't want to go back and read that because we want to move on uh, to the fact that how did Israel give? And I said earlier that Israel was God's people in the olden days. Back in the Old Testament, Israel was God's people. God only had one people, and that was Israel. Other, the other nation was heathen nations. So I want you to understand God's way always had been with one group and never many. And this time, his love is with Israel, okay? Israel. And Israel is under, of course, the 12 tribes of Israel or Jacob. And we studied that in Revelation, how, how the 12 tribes of Israel is sealed and how and to the twelve apostles we are sealed if we believe and obey their teaching. But here in Israel is the twelve tribes of Israel that God Himself is dealing with. And here we're talking about the collection here. And here God is telling his people through Aaron and through Moses how to give to the Levitical priest, which include Moses. As you can remember, uh, Moses is the, and the Aaron are brothers. That, that include Moses and Aaron being the, the Leviticals, okay? And, a, and the priest who stood with the Levitical people. And the Leviticals are tribe. And here God said that the Leviticals is not going to make money as anybody else make money if I can uh, put it in that way because I have set them aside to do my business in the temple for the people. Okay? So we just want to uh, put that in there. And let's go to, let's do a little uh, 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 review of what we were saying yesterday in Numbers 18. Turn with me Numbers 18, uh, verses 30. And, and I think I got it right. No, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Make it sure. Let, let's catch up to verse uh, uh, 28. Let's go to 28 and do a little uh, review of what we said yesterday. Just a little bit, because I do want to move on. In 18, Numbers 18, verse 28, Thus ye also shall offer and heave offering to the Lord of all your tents, which ye receive of the children of Israel, 
and you shall give that of the Lord's Eve offering to Aaron the priest. To Aaron the priest. Out of all your gifts, you shall offer every heave offering of the Lord of all the best thereof, even the hallowed part thereof out of it. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, when you have when you have heaved the best thereof from it, then it shall be counted unto the Levites as the increase of the threshing floor and as the increase of the winepress. And ye shall eat it in every place, and ye and your household, for it is your reward for your service in the tabernacle of the congregation. And ye shall bear in no sin by reason of it, when ye have heaved from it the best of it, never shall ye pollute the holy things of the children of Israel, lest ye die. And here God is telling Aaron that this he, this is your, uh, 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 this is uh, your reward for your service in the tabernacle of the congregation. In other words, this is your wage, Aaron. This is how you're going to make a living because I have set you aside. I have pulled you uh, especially to do this work in the tabernacle for the people. So the people may have that, that connection with me. And here God knew the importance of it. And he told Aaron, this is all I want you to do. And the tent and the heave offering is your wage or your payment for doing the service in the tabernacle of the in the tabernacle of the congregation. Amen. And amen. And then turn with me. Let's go to Oh, let me see here. Let's go to, oh, man, my eyes are real bad, and we want to uh, apologize for that. Let's go to Genesis 14, and if you have God's, a copy of God's Word, I want you to open it now to Genesis 14. I believe that's where we are, and uh, we want to see what Genesis 14 has to say about the tent, uh, giving a tent. Turn with me quickly to Genesis 14, and we're going to read that. And I'm very sure this is Abraham, sure. Uh, this is uh, Genesis 14. And we're going to read what it says there. Genesis 14, uh, verses 18 through 20. And here Genesis says, 18 through 20. Are you there? Genesis 14, 18 through 20 says, And Melchizedek, King of Salem brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. The priest, now this is before the time that Moses went to Pharaoh to, to free Israel. Uh, this was the time before Aaron and, and, and the Levitical was priest. You had Melchizedek. And here, let me read it again. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the most high God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram 
of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. So here Abraham, uh, let me read it again, uh, he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. Here Melchizedek is blessing Abram, is blessing Abram, okay, and he says in verse 20, and blessed be the most high God, which hath delivered thy enemies into thy hand, and gave him tenths of all. Are y'all listening here? Abram gave King now Melchizedek, the priest, tenth of all. And verse 21 says, And the king of Sodom said unto Abram, Give me the persons, and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand unto the Lord, the most high God, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take from a from a thread even to a shoe latchet, and that I will not take anything that is thine, lest I should have said, I have made Abram rich. Save only that which the young men have eaten, and the portion the men which went with me, Abner, Askel, Mamre, let them take that portion. Here, let me set up the scene for you. Melchizedek blessed Abram. Abraham was not called Abraham yet. But here Melchizedek blessed Abram. Abram gave Melchizedek tenth of everything he had. But Melchizedek wanted to give Abram some of it. And Abram said, no, no, that's yours. I don't want you to say that you made me rich. But because you're a priest of God, you bless me. Here, Melchizedek was doing God's work, blessing Abram, and we know what Abram was all about. We know Abram had a strong faith in God to the point that he believed in God and obeyed God and walked the journey God wanted him to walk. And Abram, this was the time before men really recognized who God was. And this is what we must understand. Before that, they was worshiping idols. Uh, but this was the time when God and Abram was having a relationship. And this is Melchizedek, a high priest that was blessing Abram. And he, Abram gave him a tent of everything he had. Okay? And this is what we got to understand. If Abram, faithful Abram, before he became Abraham, gave tenth and sometimes even more than a tenth to Belchazedek, <laughs> that should open up our eyes when it comes to our giving. And we need to recognize that Abraham was faithful to God. But most of us, we, uh, we don't want to be faithful to no thing, not to nobody. And Abraham gave a tenth, not just of monies, not just of his time, but he gave a tenth of everything to the priest, Mel, Chesedek. We're going to end it right there. This is our lesson for the day. And tomorrow, we're going to be still talking about the 10th and 
and the heave offering and the wave offering. And we hope tomorrow uh, that you come back and that we uh, can really see God's will for us. And of course, uh, what we're going to do, we are going to, we're looking at how Israel gave. Now we're talking about Abram, the first tenth, how Abram gave tenth to the male Tessedic, and then we're going to talk about the weed, with the wave offering, and then we're going to compare it to what we should give today. Because like I said, many of us, we just don't know what to give. That's your lesson for today. That's your chat for today. We hope that you take it in the spirit that it was given, and that was the spirit of love. We'll be right back after this message with the closing. Amen. Amen, 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 and amen. We're back. This is our closing, and we hope that you enjoyed the program. We hope that you kept your ears on to the whole program, and we hope that you learned the lesson of giving. And we're talking about the tent and above, and we hope that uh, you're getting this lesson and to uh, learn from it where you can grow in the app nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And as I said, if you want to catch the show live, you can always go to the many, uh, uh, many for, uh, platforms that we're on. Pull them up, download them, and listen to the program so that you may grow there by. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, thou be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is in God. Father, we pray for all of our listeners, Father. We pray that they walk with that snap, crackle, and pop and show the world Christ in them. And Father, we pray that we can keep this program going. Help us to stay healthy enough and wise enough to keep this program going and going. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.